Now then YouTube, I am the Toff man and welcome to this. This is a night with the Toff um, and I'm playing a different game. This is Open TTD. Now, I was playing with the idea of having music or sounds, both of them off, but to be honest, it didn't sound right. It didn't look right. It didn't feel right. So I've gone with just sounds rather than just the music. So um, I apologise if the sounds are a bit loud. There is no option to actually... Um, like turn these down it's really annoying but uh, never mind we'll just we'll get on with the new game now um ooh, let's go the snowy one shall we why not normal flat very low sea level all this kind of good stuff starting date of uh, 1st of january 1950 yeah that'll be fine why not and uh oh maybe it's not a snow level then i must have done something wrong there just having a look around here What's this all this about here? I don't know. Um, we don't seem to have an, any towns either. Oh yeah, we do. We've got quite a few towns actually. So let's figure out where to actually start off. This is Open TTD. You can uh, just find it on the internet, and you can just download it. It's a free free program um, based off the old Transport Tycoon Deluxe, which is amazing. I've got to tell you. Um, I'm thinking here is a very good starting place because I've got three towns pretty close together that I can, you know, get something, get something started there. So first and foremost, let's um, found our company, build our our HQ. I don't want to build it in the way, so just uh, where shall I put it? In the woods over there. Why not? Why not? Um, Okay, so first things first. We've, now we've done that. Look, God, so let's change that bugger. First selection, new first. Oh my God, I could swear it was. Hang on, I'm not female here. Yeah, we'll go for him. Fair enough. I don't look out like him, but still, never mind. Um, right, I've got to remember exactly how to actually play this game. I've got to tell you. Um. No, I don't want that. I want to, I think, construct roads. There we are. Um, and I want to drag it all the way up there, please. So I want road in that direction to there, that to there. And uh, just connect them two towns quite wonderfully there. Um, we need a vehicle depot. I think I'm going to place it right there. And then bus stops. Or bus stations, as you would like to call them, maybe. Uh, just looking at it here, and I think the best course of action would be to actually bulldoze that house right there. And I can't, because it won't let me. Um, can't remove bus station. I don't want to remove the bus station. I want to remove the friggin' land. Can I just... What's all that all about? I place it above it? No. Building must be demolished first. So... Let's have a look over... Where would it be? Where would it be? Just think about it, Toph. Think about it. I don't bloody know. Let's just have a look for things. See, I would have thought it would have been underneath the, you know, the road construction. and You can just put it on there, but obviously not. Landscaping. Bugger that. There we are. Uh, it works. It works. Probably not the best idea to do something like that. I could have done that, to be quite honest. Um, probably thinking I should have done it, but never mind. Let's uh, let's put one there. Hunnam. Hunnam bus station. So after all that, I didn't put a bus station where I should have done. Never mind. Let's put one also there. So now we've got um, two bus stations. We've got two, uh, two lovely bus stations there. Brilliant. Uh, we need to get ourselves a bus. There's no sense having bus stations with no bus. We click on there, I believe. New vehicle, just a normal bus. Uh, buy the vehicle, please. I think we click on. Is it? Is it? Is it? What? What? What button is it? Is it that one? Yeah, that is. It. Want you to go there? No, hang on. Go to there, and then go to there, please, fella. Let's get that. Start the bus up. Nice. Our first little bus. Woo! Get in. The Hunnam to Pfffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffff
Citizens go wild. It's a little bit strange without the music in the background. I won't lie, but uh, still, I'm not, I'm not too bothered. I want another bus. I don't like having just one bus on a bus route. Um, I find it kind of, well, I don't think it's profitable just to have the one bus. So let's do that. But I'm not going to set it off just yet. I'm going to wait till that gets near that bus stop, and then I'm going to, uh, you know, same length away from that as that, so that I can have one bus stop. You know, one bus going here as one bus is is dropping off there. So I'm thinking there's a good start. Cause obviously it's got to start off. It's got to start up. Anything waiting in Hunnam? 33 passengers. Well, that's a bit big for our bus, is it not? Let's have a look. How many passengers can it hold? 10 passengers. Uh, 31 passengers. So it's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad. Maybe I might get a third. Not sure. Right. Oh, bear with me a sec. Well, I'm sorry guys, but I just couldn't do it without the music. It just didn't feel the same. So I've put the music back on. Here we are. And uh, is it paused? Yes, it is paused. Let's get straight back on with it now. We've got two buses on the go. This is going to be absolutely fantastic. Let's whip over here and um, get a quick road construction on the go. Got, we've got some money, not loads, but we've got some. Um, I don't like having hills, especially in the early game, because the buses don't like them. So let's, uh, that should be enough there, just connect that to there. Then we're going to get another bus station just round about there. Brenning Pool Falls, brilliant stuff. We're going to need another road depot though, unfortunately. Um, we're going to plank it just there, plank it, plank it just there. From there, we're going to buy some new vehicles. Yes, of course, two new buses uh, to add to our little collection here. Go to... You're going to go to Braining Pool Falls, and then you're going to go to... Oops. Pfaffafringford. Good stuff. You can bugger off now. I've dealt with you. You can also go to Braining Pool Falls, and then, again over to Parfumford. Lovely stuff. And, uh, oh my god, he's going to go all the way down there just so we can turn around. He's an idiot. Can't you do a three-point turn in a bus? Come on. Going to Parfumford there. Is that, is that growing? Is that, was that always there? I can't remember. That house has just popped up, so we're okay there. I'll have a look at populations and that lot in a minute. So that's going to set off all the way down there. This is looking good. Just looking here, and I think um, that's some coal there. I do like to get coal to a power station soon as, to be honest. Um, there's oil stations, a fair few oil stations, but of course oil is in the sea usually. Um, I can't see much in the way of power stations. There's one there. It's a little bit. Uh, what is that coal? What's that? Gold mine. Fair enough. I want a power station near some coal. Because that will bring in quite a bit of money early on. God, that's really loud in my ears. I'll tell you something. Uh, you guys won't get to hear how loud that is because I do, can actually turn it down in editing. I found that out. So, right, we we do have power station up here, but again, no near coal source. The only near one is that one there. Um, oh, there to there. That's brilliant. I will set that off now. It's been waiting there long enough. And what I'm going to do. I think this is time to bust out the, uh, the train station. Number of tracks, two. A length of five there. Just alongside. Flatlands required. Let's put it there instead then. That should accept coal. Yeah, it does. Accepts wood. That uh, supplies coal, sorry. And paper. 
This may be, this may bite into our finances, but I'm not particularly worried at this stage. Let's get another train station at this side, actually. Accepts call. Brilliant. So, uh, fix these together. Oops, I think I've gone one too far there. So let's blast that off. Now it looks to me as if I haven't put something there. Land, land sloped in the... Oh yeah, of course it is. Oh, I didn't see that. If I'd have blasted away these, I might have done. Uh, let's have a look at um, the land. Where's the, the land thing in my bob? There it is. Right. Uh, it's probably a good idea to do something like that, maybe. And then uh, fill in the gaps, much like that. Brilliant. This isn't going to be too bad, uh, this way. Because we can just go straight up that hill with no problems. The train's probably going to be really slow going into there, but I'm not too bothered about that right now. Let's go straight down here. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Look at that. Our first little train line there. And um, what I am going to do, and what many people don't actually think about doing is doing crisscrosses there just to make sure that nothing happens and nothing goes wrong. There we are. I'm going to want something similar over here. Like that. With them on both sides. Just to make sure nothing untoward happens. Let's get rid of these two and get a train depot. Oh, come on. Oh, there we are. Must remove signals first. I wondered why that was not working. Fine. We'll go a little bit closer. And we need another one as well, don't we? I forget this. Just like that. Brilliant. So we've got our little, our first little train line going on here. Um, for this side, we've only got one engine there, so let's buy that vehicle. But we want um, six, maybe six. Uh, I don't know. I've been this now. Like that. We'll start with three, I suppose. It's uh, no sense going all out, really, if we're not going to get loads of stuff. So we're going to ask it to go there first, and uh, go there second. Sweet, thank you very much. You can now leave and go. We want exactly the same on this side. Steam engine there um, with. Three coal trucks, one, two, three. Um, let's get rid of that. I want you to go to there. And then come back and go to there, please. Brilliant. You can go. And that is that. Train line all set up and sorted. We're on 10,000 at the minute. It's not too bad. It's a bit slow up them hills. I knew that would happen. Um, still, Runton Mines. That was a bit, uh, a bit far away, fella. There. So what kind of dosh we're gonna get here for this? Look at the graphics. It's amazing. Nothing. No dosh. Is there nothing waiting there? Fifty-eight tons, sixty-seven tons of coal. Maybe it just doesn't show me. Oh, that's not the button I was looking for. That's the one. 
profit last year. No, it never picked anything up the first time round. Okay. That seems to have some stuff on board there. It has. It's pretty much full of full of coal there. But there's money here. What are we on? 9,000. I think we're making a loss at the minute, but that's the amount of stuff that I'm, um, you know, building. So he's going to come steaming along here. Come on now, I want to see what we're going to earn. <clears throat> I want to see what we're going to earn. Yeah, Mom. Seven fifty-one, four thirty-four, seventeen, one percent done, and we earned two thousand four hundred and three from one drop off there. What kind of resources have we got waiting here? Thirty-nine tons of coal, so we seem to be keeping up to them relatively well there. So I'll come back later on and see how we go in there. Apart from that looks new to me. I didn't see that before. Some new uh, new things going on there. Let's have a look at the population. It's 458 at the minute. Just keep an eye on that. 1,365 in Hunnam. Some, uh, some buildings going up there. And what's the little Brenning pool like? That's doing not too bad. Not too bad. See, the nearest town then is uh, Woodworth here. And I think we're close enough to actually build ourselves yet another bus route there. Let's get that on the go. Right, let's have some dosh. It's a problem with me, I never rest on my laurels, I'm always building something. Um, and let's put the bus station there, why not? And Hunnam already have a bus, a bus depot, kind of vehicle depot thing. Um, oops. I want a bus, please. Cheers. And I want you to go to Hunnam and then over to Woodworth. I typically don't do long bus routes. Um, I, I go from one place to another and I leave it as that. I don't do anything other than that, to be quite honest. Can't buy, in, can't buy any. Well, bugger that. Let's borrow some more money. Let's buy a shit ton more money. Why not? So what do you mean I can't buy a bus? Oh, now I can. Brilliant. Hunnam, oops, Hunnam please. And then over to Woodworth again. Let's get rid of that, rid of that. Let's go up here and see what the bus is doing. Which one's going to go down here? That's what I want to know. And how far and how fast are you going to get there? Where's the other bus, by the way? I seem to be missing a bus from Farford to Hunnam. It seems to have disappeared. In fact, both of them have buggered off down there. Did I not set the other one off? Let's have a look. No. Uh, where's it gone? Heading for Parford. Did I ask you to? Yep, Parford there for some strange reason. I want to delete that. You don't want to go there, fella. Right, now he's going to turn around and go back to Woodford. Woodford, Woodford. Good, whatever you are. Anyway, that seems to be okay now. I must have clicked on it by accident somewhere along the line. What about you? Have you got everything right? Yeah, spot on. So we've now connected Woodworth to our little connections. What else can we do while we're here? Well, uh, that requires wood. Let's have a look, see if we can find any forests anywhere. Can't really see any. Any at all? God. How about that? I'm just not looking right. No, I can't see any forests. Unlucky. Well, there's oil. And there's a power station right next to it there, but that's not what we're after. There's another piece of coal there that I could actually send a train station, a train line down to that. Um, let's have another look around though, because I don't want to be. Well, there's an oil station there. Oil refinery. There's the oil. It's too far away at the minute to be able to do something like that, so I'm just going to leave it. Coal. Uh, let's 
I think it's the two big cities really that that uh, two big towns, whatever you want to call them, that are right close together that I could just nick some more money from. No. Great Runton there. The Warning Stone. Newell City. Fenbridge and Plumbridge. Or Friendbridge, not Fenbridge. Uh, Nidding Hatton, 800 and odd people in that one, so that's not too bad. A uh, little halfway on sea, half Hinfingway on on sea. Interesting. I may want to do a train line between these two. It's tempting. It's definitely tempting. Uh, let me just uh, think about what I'm going to do next for a second, and uh, I will be back. Okay, I'm back, and I've decided what I want to do next. Well, you can see we are actually making a profit, and a hell of a lot is from that trains, uh, the, from the trains that I built to the, you know, from the coal to the power station. Anybody wanting to play this game um, will know, and you know, from anybody from the past who has played. Uh, Transport Tycoon and Transport Tycoon. Ty God's sake, get out, Chris. Anybody from the past who has played Transport Tycoon or Transport Tycoon Deluxe will know how important um, early money is. And early money is definitely, I think, between the coal power stations uh, and the, the coal mines themselves. As you can see, plus 20,000 income just this year alone and we're not end, we're not at the end of this year yet we're not at the end of this year um, but don't be afraid to dip in there and um, and you know get loans to start with because that will help it will help tons to setting up that kind of thing but we're just going to expand our road network here with some more buses would you believe and uh, this time we're going to be connecting these two little towns and, uh, and see what's going if we can't get ourselves a bit more dosh. And I'm, I'm going to want another depot over here because uh, this is not connected to anything really. So that's the depot. Um, I want to yeah, put it right there. Why not? I'm running slotting pool as well that way around, just there. Let's get another bus. Regal bus. Cheers. Go to there, fella, and go to there. Come out of there. You bugger off so I can get another bus. I can tell you to go to there and go to there. And I can just set you straight off. Practically nearly in the middle of these two, so I'm not that, not that fussed about. It's some little time. And uh, what I've seen, what I find quite pointless is using uh, trucks to transport items around rather than, you know, just using trains. Uh, it seems to work for me, so... 1067, Hunnam. 450, Proudford Fing Furred. And is that 132 I can see just under there? It is 132. Brilliant. Brilliant stuff. And now we've expanded over here as well. Um, oil there and the power station's not too far away let's get another train station on the go I think uh, that's a good idea and it's flatland so uh, let's put it the other way why not and then I'll fit it in and around supplies goods livestock and wheat well I don't want to do that I want it to accept oil and supply nothing else. We're too close to that, I think. Um, supplies goods. There then. Except oil still, so we're okay. Uh, and let's fly up here with this. Uh, where's my landscaping tool? It costs, by the way, every time... Oh. Every time you do that, so just keep that in mind. I say, and then we just go and flatten the whole map. Right, let's continue this one line. Oh, I 
okay? Minus 33,000, I'm not too fussed about that, because look at the construction and new vehicles cost there. We would have been quite easily in the green, so really, really good start. Just going to get one, if I can get one line going, I'll be quite happy. So, continuing on with the line. There's a bloody river right there. Ah, can we up this? We can. That's good. Down this again, please. Nice. So now we can get across. Sweet. On 21,000, so I'm probably going to have to borrow some more money off the bank just to pay for uh, some trains. Hmm. This hill here is a very hilly area. It's not too bad. So now we've got one line going, and I think I'm actually going to buy a train right now on this line. So let's get a, a train depot. Just to be, you know, just to get a little bit more dosh coming in. Um, I don't really need all this at the minute now. Um, can we afford a train? No, of course we can. Just borrow loads more money then, please. Buy the vehicle. We we'll want three oil tikers on there. Sweet. And I want you to first go here, and then go there, please. Brilliant. Uh, bugger off now, please. Nice. There's another train going off there, and oh, it's probably that oil refinery that we're actually uh, supplying, not that one. But it's not really. I'm not too fussed. I'm not too bothered about that. Which which one it is? I'm just bothered about the money. I'm not bothered about all the goods that are going to pile up. To be honest, at the minute, I don't think anything will accept goods um, at this early stage. Apart from maybe Hunnam. Nah, they don't accept good either. Uh, oh, they accept gold. And where was the gold mine again? It was it was like miles away, wasn't it? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, <laughs> that's not going to happen. But it is uh, quite an expensive resource to transport around as gold, by the way. So they seem to be spreading out. I, I, it looks as if we're getting more people going into Praf, Prafingford than than, uh, the, than is staying in Hunnam at the minute. Maybe getting some... Oh, and Woodworth also have a bank there. So they'll be accepting gold. Right, I didn't actually look... Oh, here we are. It's just turning up now. He didn't actually have anything on him there. Um, a bit disappointed in that. Never mind. We'll, uh, we'll see what kind of, of dosh this guy brings in. Is there anything waiting there? 47,000 litres of oil. And what can you hold? Let's have a look. What's the capacity of this thing? Capacities. 30,000 litres of oil each. So, we're looking good. Looking okay. So, 30 each. We can, we can carry... 90,000 litres of oil. This is 60,000 that's waiting to be picked up. It keeps going up. That's to be expected. We'll, uh, we'll find out what this thing will give us in, in money, monetary terms and see if um, see if it's worth it. See if it's worth all that hassle of, of flattening the land. And It's going to be a while before we see a, a, a surplus, you know, a profit from uh, our little adventure down here, but... Uh, Never mind. So that's picking everything up now. Waiting nothing. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. And while that rattles on down there, I'm going to take a look at my train line over here. See if there's anything waiting at the coal. 71 tons of coal. And that accepts coal, of course. Right, it's just coming down here now. So 
got a proper pixelated view if you like. You can just come out to there and it looks absolutely spot on. I like that view. But we need to go a little bit in so we can see exactly what... Uh, is it full this thing? It uh, very nearly is. Just 10,000 more litres and it would have been full. Struggling up the hill. Come on fella, we need to see what you earn us and then we can call this tough man uh, this night with the tough man, we can call it officially over. I do like Transport Tycoon. It's one of them old classic games that really never gets old. I love it. Even the graphics, um, they just scream out. I love it. I honestly do love this. 72%, 55%. Nearly empty. What kind of dosh are you going to give us? 3,344. That is not bad at all for its maiden voyage. 3,000. That's probably paid for the flattening of the land. So eventually, I might get another, another, you know, train line down here. Don't know. Don't know. But it's not going to be on camera anyway because that is the end of this episode of Tough Man. Uh, a, a, a night with a tough man. Our day with. You know, evening with the tough, night with the tough, whatever you, whatever time of day it is, it has been an absolute pleasure to bring to you today this 19. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hazard a guess here and go with 1996. That's, I don't know what it is off the top of my head. That's just broke off, broke down there. But I'll have a look. Um, wait, obviously before I put this video up and uh, and get it in the description. But I'm gonna hazard a guess at 1996 this possibly um, but anyway guys I have been the tough man this has been Transport Tycoon Deluxe or OpenTTD this is downloadable for free um, on the OpenTTD website which I will I would link actually in the description below so if you if you want this game it really isn't very taxing on the graphics at all um, any kind of computer as long as it turns on can run this thing nowadays so anyway guys I have been the tough man I'm not going to keep you much longer so, until next time, guys, stay safe.